Addison Green takes a closer look at what it takes for our National Weather Service to issue a heat advisory. Well, yesterday was a scorcher of a day around town with our first heat alert being issued in the form of a heat advisory yesterday across much of the metro area. That was because temperatures felt around 105 to 110 degrees. We also had the air temperatures getting into the upper 90s, close to 100 degrees. So when we're talking about heat alerts, we can see heat advisories and also excessive heat warnings. So we got to break down the criteria for you. Heat alerts come in form of the advisory right here and the criteria of 103 degrees and or a heat in the sea of 108 degrees. When you get towards an excessive heat warning, now you're really feeling that heat becoming widespread as temperatures are 105 degrees and or having a heat in the sea of 113 degrees. These alerts are issued by our local National Weather Service. And of course, as we go through the summer weeks and months, we're bound to see more of these alerts being issued across our area.